Hello everyone and welcome to this weapon crafting basics tutorial. We will look closer to what skills are needed in order to craft weapons, also how to craft weapons of course, and a few gameplay damage tests of course. First off, what skills do we need? Let's start with the material lore skills, you should get these first. And it highly depends on where you're located, what materials are in your area and you should have the lores for it because then you have a constant supply of materials. I for example trained here leather lore for the grips, um, the exoskeleton lore, the bone tissue lore to use bone tissues and the dendrology lore for the weapon hilts for example. So you should craft or train your skills as high as possible because only if your skill is 100 then you will gain the most damage and the most durability out of your weapons. Note Star Vault already confirmed and that for example for crafting skills like weapon crafting and handle and pole crafting for example, 70 is enough. Over 70 there won't be any damage increases and stuff. Over that it will just increase the durability of the items. So only if you want to be a high end weapon crafter then take everything to 100. So here for example the handle crafting where these two arrows are, these skills are needed anyways, because if you want to have a handle on your weapon, you need the handle and pole crafting, over skill of course. But after that, it just depends on what you want to craft. If you for example never craft swords, then you don't need the skill for example, and you don't need the skill beneath it. Because for an axe, the 2H shaft and staff crafting or the 1H staff and club crafting is enough to make the handles for your axes, your clubs or whatever what you're fighting with. Maybe you only craft swords and you don't need pole arms, lances, maces, whatever. Then don't skill 2 hands shaft and staff crafting. Tools and shaft crafting is also pretty optional because you can buy your stuff at the utility vendor but sometimes the uh, self crafted have way more durability. Daggers and spearhead crafting is uh, self explanatory, yeah. Of course spearhead when you want to make some spears, same with um, pole blades for pole swords for example. If you are a sword crafter I highly recommend advanced blade crafting and great blade crafting of course because great blades are very good. If you use some good materials of course and not the shitty materials. Then the blunt weapon crafting. Also the axes are also under that category so you maybe need that skill and maybe you don't need spiked head crafting. This is for star maces and flank maces. And for hammers and stuff, it's the blunt head crafting. Uh, yeah, and for the tool crafting, the tool shaft crafting um, up there, um, you have the tool head crafting here. Also very optional. So here are the primary skills you need in order to craft weapons. If you decide to go all in, then skill everything in the weapon crafting tree. Because all weapon crafting skills will just take you 500 points. You only need weapon crafting, blunt weapon crafting, basic blade crafting, one hand blade, cr blade hilt crafting, one hand shaft and club crafting. Animal materials is also good if you want to use molarium and stuff. Botany for the woods, yeah woods, not morning wood. And metals because steel is your best friend. So if you want to save points um, then decide if you want to do blunt weapon crafting or not. If you just craft for yourself or for your guild and no one is using hammers for example, um, then yeah, drop blunt weapon crafting because you don't need that. But Spesnard, where do I get the books from? I'm glad that you are asking for that. So I will give you the mind blowing hint to go to the library. Yeah, you know the stuff where your grandparents go before Google was invented. I don't know, I just don't like libraries. Also my wife works in the library. Coincidence you ask? Maybe. But I wonder if she can get me an Ogmium book. Okay, sorry, sorry, I was drifting away. Please also consider that not every library has every crafting book. Some weapon crafting books are only available at Morincourt for example. Like the Greed Blades and stuff, the Conqueror's Blade, maybe it will be available in Tindrim, I don't know. But you are able to get your basic crafting skills from the local library. And also buy the books for your lore skills that you don't waste so much materials. Because even a weapon crafted with 70 or 80 can also be used for PvE. If you train your crafting skills and you don't make it too crappy and you would destroy the stuff otherwise. Then donate that to your local community, give the people in the town your stuff and say yeah that are leftovers. They will thank you long after that and they will remember that maybe. 
Now to the crafting itself. Here I created a two-hand maul with 28 blunt damage, which is a lot. For the core material I recommend wood. You can use some other stuff, but just for example. Then the grip material. Use some leather or some light material. If you use heavier material, you will get more durability. And the head material. For hammers you can use bone tissues for example, but please don't use bone tissues for slashing buffins. You could use jedi for example. You will get that out of Sabura, I will link it in the description. You can also use steel for example or molarium. You get molarium out of razor bags if you butcher them at the butchery bench. And just a slight hint, if you want to train PvP with your clan, your guild or whatever, and you don't want to waste all your steel, for example, just for PvP training, then I highly suggest that you write down the weight of the steel weapons you normally use for PvP and you try to use some shit materials or materials that are not so expensive and create the same weapon with the same weight but out of your shit materials that you don't waste your expensive stuff. Because if two people make PvP training with the same weight weapon as a steel weapon would have, then you have the same effect while training. But now you ask where to find all the materials. I will link you a hunting tutorial in the description, there are also some extraction tutorials. But yeah, for wood it's simple, just cut wood. Yeah, <laughs> cutting wood with a dagger. No, please use the right tools. The equipment vendor have some axes and some pickaxes for one silver. Better use them instead of your rival swords and stuff. And you can also hunt some pigs. Be quiet, the bacon don't know that we are here and now... Die you f***ing nasty son of a f you mother f pig. Open the loot bag and take out the carcass. Open your inventory and press right click for skinning the pig and yeah, hold butcher. And you will get out bone tissues and some leather. You can also gather rocks and throw them in the crusher to extract more ores and to extract that further and refine that to metals like cuprum or steel for example. They are very good weapon materials. Okay, let's test a few weapons and remember I don't have the weapon skill uh, over 40 I think. Yeah, that mace does decent damage. And the head material is made out of bone tissues. Okay, let's test uh, this two-handed great axe. And uh, oh yeah, that was a handle hit. Uh, that was pretty bad. That was also a handle hit. Oh man, I'm bad. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that was a normal hit. Yeah, 30. For that, for that fast um, charging speed is, is very good. For that reach of the weapon, I mean. Okay, let's uh, test uh, this double axe. I wonder if it does uh, good damage or not. Um, it's only just made out of bone tissues, so um, yeah, don't wonder about the low damage. Yeah, 40, 40. Yeah, I have the X skill um, on 40 and it does, yeah. Yeah, okay, the fast hits don't do so much damage. But yeah, okay, 50, that is pretty awesome. So this axe made out of steel would do, I think, 140 or 130 on a walker. On the head, of course. Okay, now we try out uh, this to fix. Yeah, I have the skill on uh, one or zero, and yeah, it is it is okay for a dagger. I mean, yeah, why not? But if you craft weapons and you have other materials available, don't use bone tissues. Use bone tissues only on hammers and big molds. That is okay. But for the other weapons, uh, better use molarium, steel, cuprum and um, yeah, other stuff. Or make a big maul out of gold, that is also pretty awesome. I had one in Mortal Online 1 and it was so heavy you couldn't even draw that weapon. Because the strength requirement was above the moon. So I really hope this video was helpful for you. Please leave a like and subscribe, ring the bell that you don't miss any future videos. Always remember to make party hard and goodbye.